Hey everyone, today I will show you not only how to customize Blender's theme colors like mine here with the red, but also how to set up shortcuts and adjust panels and windows as well as saving them. If you would like to skip following along, you can purchase the theme color pack and startup file on my Gumroad or Patreon. The link will be in the description. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the theme colors first. So I'm going to make a purple theme this time. So what you want to do is go up to edit and then preferences and you want to go into themes so I'm going to show you what you need to change in here to replicate what I made so the first place we're going to go into is user interface and I am going to open regular so now what we want to do is change this color here to the color we want so I've got a um, color already so what I'm going to do is paste that in to the hex value here you want to make sure you're using hex so you, we can paste in an accurate one. So I'm going to hit Ctrl V and paste that in. Or you could have just dragged this around to the one you want. Alright, so that's looking good. So what I want to do is I'm going to make two separate colors. One lighter one and one darker one. So for regular we want it to be a darker one. So I'm just going to drag this down here. Alright, so now we'll go to the next one. We'll go to tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that color and then now this one will be a lighter one. So you want to use these two colors here and paste them into all the stuff. So the next one is toolbar item. So this one will be the uh, lower one. So I'm going to paste that in there. Next one is the radio buttons. This will also be the uh, darker one. Okay, next one is text. This one will be the lighter one. So I'm going to go grab this one. Go down to text. So you want to, instead of using this one, you want to use the one that's the color of what it already is. So that's blue here. So I'm going to paste this to override it. All right, we'll shut that. Next one is option. This is also the light one. So you can see already the text we changed is showing up here. So I'm going to paste that in. <clears throat> so now we want to go down again. And we're going to go to number field. And paste this one in. That is the light one again. Keep going down to menu. This one this time. It's also the light one. Okay, down to pie menu, selected the light one again. All right, so now we want to find pull down. This one, we want the dark one. So I'm gonna scroll up to where the dark is. I'm gonna copy that, Control C. Let's go back down. I'm gonna paste that there. All right, now let's find the menu item. So this will be the bright one. So I'll copy that and paste it into here. All right, so now we just got a few left. So now we're going to go down to icon colors. So this is these over here. So you can change them to whatever color you want, but I'm gonna set them all to white in the middle there. Like so. Doesn't have to be an accurate white. Okay, I am going to leave the file folders though because we don't see that. So then I'm going to change object and shading. So I'm going to paste in the purple, purple there, and shading. And there you go, you'll see it's purple over there. So you can of course change it to whatever color you like, uh, or you can change different ones. All right, so now we're going to shut that. And I will show you one extra thing. You are able to change the color of the axes here, X, Y, and Z. So these red and green can be changed. So you do that under here. So then you can go and uh, change these around. But I am going to uh, leave that as it was. Okay, so now we're going to go and shut this. And now we're going to scroll down until we find dope sheet. So you want to open that. And this is for this little timer down here. 
uh, that shows you what frame we're on. So I'm going to hit current frame and I'm going to paste in our pink color. Okay, that looks great. So we can go and show that. So now we want to go and find outliner. So that's for this up here. And I'm going to change active highlight. So I'll paste this in. For this one, we want the darker one to make sure there's enough contrast to read the text. So I'm going to bring that down like that. All right, so now if I click, you can see that's the effect it is. So you can bring it darker to make sure you can clearly read it. All right, so we're going to do a couple last ones. So look for 3D viewport. That's this one here. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to find active object. So that's the outline around the object you have selected. You can see right now it's orange. So I'm gonna change this to purple. All right, so you can see it becomes purple there. And then I'm also going to do the object selected. So that is when you uh, hold shift and select multiple objects, you'll see only the main one is purple, the other two are orange. So we're gonna change the orange. So I'll paste in the purple. And of course, we're going to want it to be darker so you can tell the difference. Let's see. I think I am going to vary the color a little bit here. We'll make it bluish so it's easier to see. Okay, there we go. That's good. Yeah, now you're able to tell the blue. All right, so that wraps it up for the colors. So to save that, what you want to do is come up here and this is only at the very end you don't want to do it before you've finished everything so you want to go and hit the plus and now you want to write the name of your preset so i'm gonna type monochrome purple because that's what we made and then you want to hit ok so what that will do is it'll save this so when you open blender it'll come up with this again and it will also put an xml file into uh, a folder so i'll show you where that folder is so it's your user and the app data, roaming, blender foundation, blender 3.0 or whatever blender vision you're using, scripts, presets, interface theme, and it will show up here. So you can see it's added the purple. So what you're able to do is if uh, you didn't follow along with this or you want to um, access my color pack on my Patreon, you will get given the XML file and then you want to go over here and hit install and select the file and drag it in. So that's how you make use of the color presets. All right, so now I'm quickly going to show you how you can create custom hotkeys to speed up your workflow. So there's two easy ways that you can do this. So the first one is to find an operator that you want to do. Say I want to change the subdivide hotkey. So you want to hover over it and then right click and then it will give you the option to change shortcut. So I'm going to click that and now you want to enter in the shortcut that you want. So I'm going to hit control alt D and it will change it to that. So that's one easy way you can do it. But for some it won't work. So let's say uh, up here if I go to file. So if I right click open it will give me the option. However if I try on new suddenly it does not give us that option so for something like that you want to go to edit preferences so now you want to go down to key map and now you want to type in what it is we're trying to change so we want new so i'm going to type in new and you'll see we've got window new file and it's uh, shift control n is what i have it set as now and we can see that if i hover over it shift control n so we can click here and let's say I want Control shift uh, s instead so you'll see it changes there so now if I go up it is now shift Control s all right so now I'm going to show you how you can edit the windows and panels so there's a few panels around that most people like me will not use for example this one here I never will look at that because I know what colors uh, they are so to remove this one we can go up to here and disable navigate so that's one gone so on the left here you might not use this so what you can do is hit t to toggle that you can alternatively go to view and 
click toolbar as well so n is the hotkey for this one so if you're not using that uh, you can hit n to toggle that away so that's looking cleaner already so what else can we do so we can create custom windows so i'm going to go and click on the top here and you'll see our cursor changes to the little t-shape there so i'm going to click and drag down and we can make a second window just like that so to change the windows what you want to do is go up to the top left and you'll see there's a little square with a drop down so we can change this to whatever we want so say so i'm going to change it to the compositor or how about we do where is it the shader editor and there you go so you've got two different ones so you can hover over the middle point in between and we get this little arrow and then i can click and hold and drag it up and down to change it like that and if i want to join it then what you want to do is right click and i want to join it uh like that so now you want to uh hover over the one you want to fill so if i hover over the top one the bottom one is going to take over the top and if i do it like this the top one is going to take over the bottom so i'm going to get rid of the shader editor by hovering up here and clicking like that and there you go one other thing i'm going to show you is how you can make the viewport look a little bit nicer so what you can do is go up here and enable cavity so you can see we get that nice edge on the um it almost looks like a bevel on the cube and i'm going to enable shadow as well and also matte cap so that just makes it look uh, a lot better in the uh, viewport now if you close and reopen blender or open a new project you'll find that uh, the windows and stuff will not change so what you can do to uh, save it is go up to file and then you want to hit defaults and then hit save startup file so this will make the current blender file we have here as the base one that will open when you create a new file so that way it'll all be saved so if you want you can go into the gumroad or my patreon and i'll have my custom startup file on there already as well as the xml templates for the colors so i'm going to add more over the coming week or so until there'll be quite a few for every different color in there so thanks for watching everyone you can tell me what you think in the description below if you would like to help support me and get perks you can do so on patreon and big thanks to kevin and noah for already supporting me don't forget to drop a like and a sub and i'll see you in the next video